Uh, my name's Jan Molyneux, uh, I'm Chair of Pride Cymru and we're at Pride Cymru 2022 in front of the City Hall. So the feeling for this year, for being back um, and putting on the event is, I can't really explain it, it's been so, uh, it's been three years since we were all together as communities, being able to celebrate who we are um, and having that visibility within the city. I think Covid's had quite uh, a, a big impact on a lot of people um, and I think this will be the kind of event where we can all get together again and have that sense of community and belonging again. Uh, that's been missing from uh, big parts of the community. Uh, I know I've been missing being with uh, the rest of the LGBT plus community. So I think this is going to have a, a big positive impact on a lot of people this weekend. Uh, it's been quite emotional, especially today in the build up of the site, thinking about what we've got planned for the rest of the weekend and the anticipation is starting to get there now. So yeah, really excited about it. So Pride Cymru isn't just for the LGBT plus community, you know, it's about inclusivity, it's about diversity um, and we've got lots of different things going on across the event. Um, the biggest, uh, we've got a new introduction for this year, which is the youth area. Uh, we're working with Cardiff Youth Services and lots of LGBT plus um, youth groups to uh, provide a specific area where there's going to be games, um, there's going to be entertainment, there's going to be um, giant Jenga, there's going to be lots for them to do. And it's the first year we've been able to uh, really uh, fund it and really put something behind it. Um, we've also got our family area which will be back this year, um, we've got like a mini pride going on uh, there so we've got drag queen story time, um, we've got quite a lot of entertainment across the weekend including a petting zoo on the Sunday, so it's not, it, it is for all ages and it is for families and they're really really welcome to come along. Um, obviously for the rest of the festival then we've got our uh, Admiral main stage with all the uh, main performances. Um, including Melanie C, who I can't wait to see, and then Booty Love, who are going to be headlining on the Sunday. Um, we've also got market stalls. Um, oh God, we've got so much this year that I'm really, really excited for people to come down and see what we're doing. Sure. So, um, talking about the parade, it's um, been three years since we've been able to do the last uh, Pride Parade, which was down North Street. Um, because it's 50 years since the first Pride in the UK this year, uh, we wanted to go back to the roots of uh, the old Pride marches in Cardiff. So we're, um, the parade's going to set off from 11am up towards where shop, uh, Capital Shopping Centre is, at the top of Queen Street. And it's going to work its way down Queen Street, uh, go onto the Hayes, through Mill Lane, and then down through High Street and back to the castle and the event site. Um, it starts at 11 o'clock, um, lots of people have been registering for it, registering it for it already and we've had more numbers this year than we have had in previous years so we're really excited at that and the prospect of marching through uh, the main shopping street uh, and really interacting with people in Cardiff and our communities it's going to be incredible, really can't wait. Um, it means a lot this year, like I said it's 50 years since the first uh, Pride March in the UK. Uh, and it means a lot to us to be able to uh, pick up on our historic route through uh, Queen Street. Very excited. So advanced tickets for Saturday are all sold out. Um, you can buy tickets on the day, it's £20 on the day. Um, you can pay in cash or card, but obviously I think most people have become more used to paying on card now. So just rock up on the day, as long as we've got the capacity um, and we've got the space, um, it's absolutely fine to turn up on the day. And obviously when you with the entertainment we got lined up with Booty Love, with Mel C. Um, we know that lots of people are going to come out and see them because they're incredible performers, so I'm very, very excited. It's going to be quite busy on the day. Um, I'd want people just to appreciate that um, there may be a bit of queuing, so just patience. We, you know, we're all going to be volunteers on Gateline. We're all going to be volunteers working across the weekend, so if people could just be patient and understand uh, we're doing our best to get everyone on site as quickly as possible, but there may be delays and it looks like the weather's going to be great. It was raining earlier on, so I kind of had to say a little prayer, but no, we're all right. Uh, so bring sun cream, uh, bring water, and just please have an incredible time.